France, but also to repress domestic political opposition. Immigrants, this was a historian who said this, a historian of this period. Um, I, don't, I don't have it in front of me because it's, my notes don't accommodate that. But, so the French Revolution was like the proto-communist, Al-Qaeda-like subversive threat of the 19th century. And so there were a lot of immigrants involved in that. I won't quote more. And so you had, as a result, the Alien and Sedition Acts. Target immigrants, make it easier to put them in jail. Sound familiar? Okay. Uh, the creation of the first national security state and bureaucracy. Uh, you had the creation of the new army, the Navy, and the Marines. And the Federalist-dominated Congress, Fifth Congress, passed a bill authorizing $454,000 on defense, which at that time was a huge amount. In the second session, it, it legitimated spending $3,800,000. In the third session, it authorized over $10 million. Exponential growth of the state bureaucracy thanks to the fear of immigrants and their connections to international threats. Sound familiar? We saw the same thing in the Palmer Raids. I was trying to find a a parallel to the current situation with immigrants after the 2006 marches. And I went and I looked and I looked and I found the Palmer Raids. Uh, you know, crisis, you know, restructuring, joblessness, depression, unemployment. Four million workers mobilized against the state, basically, against their condition. One fifth of the manufacturing force, 3,600 strikes. Immigrant leadership. Does this sound familiar? Does this sound familiar? What did the elites do? Home invasions, attack, getting people, capturing in their homes, deporting them, reorganizing the state bureaucracy. J. Edgar Hoover, a lieutenant of Palmer, gave us and brought us the FBI, another massive state policing entity.